All right, we're rolling back on the completion of the navy bean chowder. Now, the navy beans, like I told you, they, these took about an hour to become tender enough to eat, and they're ready now. Um, and now we're going to show you that one of the many finishing processes that you can uh, employ to complete this soup. Now, I'll let you take a look at this soup here the best you can. You see you got a little bit of fat on the top of the soup from the bacon, and that's okay, but you see how nice this soup looks. Now, how we finish this is going to make a big difference. There's a couple of things we're going to do, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the salt and pepper in here that belongs in here, okay? Now, you want to put fresh herbs in your can, we're just going to put chopped parsley in here, all right? But first, let's take some of the, a little bit of this fat off the top and discard it. I'm getting just a little bit too greasy here. There we go. I ended up taking about six ounces of fat off the top. Now, let's give it a taste first. This is good. It needs a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, not much. This soup is, boom, ready to go. This is nice. Now, I'm going to show you a few different things you can do with this soup, which are kind of neat. The first one is, that's great. The first one is that you can serve the beans as beans if you wanted to. And now don't quite put as much a stock in there. Now you've got a nice starch there, the navy beans, you see? And that by itself is a nice vegetable. Mix a little chopped parsley in with that or some fresh herbs and you're great. Not a vegetable, more like a starch or a veg, whatever, or a combo. Okay, so that's something that you can do with this formula, all right, which is kind of nice. And now that it's seasoned enough, we're going to go on ahead and I'm going to finish this the way I think is a nice way to finish it. One of them is, is I got a little bit of blanched green cabbage, which I dropped in boiling salt and water and then shocked in ice water. Regular green cabbage in fairly decent sized pieces though, you see? I'm going to lay some of that in that bowl. And we're going to ladle some of this soup in here. Oop. Let's try to avoid that. soup looks nice already, doesn't it? Look at that. Again, you want to be careful. The amount of juice to food is proportionately okay. Now, we can take a few peas and put them on there. And I say we take a little piece of blue cheese and we stick it in the middle of that soup. Now, that's one way of doing it. And that's, you got, actually, I've shown you two ways. One, just serve it as a bean. Second, like this here. And now, another way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do... I'm going to puree a little bit of the, of the navy beans in here and then put them back in and incorporate it back in the soup to add a little bit of body to the soup, okay? So let's take some of this with the beans and puree it with the blender stick and then pour it back into the soup, okay? Now, of course, if you want to put sausage or pieces of lamb or pork or all kinds of stuff with this, you can do it. It's just, it's wonderful, you know? Let's zap this. Okay, now let's put this back in the soup. Now the soup's not like a chowder anymore. It's kind of like a bean puree soup a little bit now, okay? It's got a slightly different look. It's got a little bit of body mixed into it now. That's nice. And this one also, I would certainly recommend a little bit of cabbage in there, a couple of peas, and a little bit of that cheese, that's nice. Nice to kind of put the cheese in the middle of the soup, we'll sprinkle a little bit of chopped parsley on here. I think in this case, maybe we'll put a little smidgen of tomato concasse on here too, if we want, see? We'll just put a little, although we have tomato concasse in the soup, we have a little bit on top now, give it a little bit more color and bring it back, to, bring it to life for you a little bit. So um, there you go, there's a navy bean chowder and this is one of the, this whole process by which we make some of these bean, bean soups, the black bean, the lentil, the navy bean with bacon, mirepoix, garlic, stock, and then we simmer them. This process is consistent with these kind of soups and the reason so is because they turn out so nice this way. 
So you enjoy playing with this soup, and uh, this is particularly good for the cold weather if you're watching this from up north. Uh, you might be able to appreciate this more than some of the people down in Florida here where we're filming this. But um, I love it, and I hope you enjoy it.